guys, this is Haley from OneOnRabbits.com and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my daily pet care routine. So this will be including the cats as well as the hermit crabs and the bunnies. Now, I do wanna mention that I am taking care of my mom's cats for the winter, just for the next three months. So you will see two more cats in this video. They are not mine, they are my parents. But as you can see here, I am preparing the cat's food in the morning. So Milo and Shadow are eating raw food. Clara eats canned food. Um, Shadow and Clara are my mom's cats. So that's what I'm doing here. And as you can see, Milo is eating, but he couldn't really pay attention to eating with a camera in his face. So <laughs> I had to stop filming him. And then we have Shadow and he is gobbling up his food as well. And of course, Milo has to steal the center of attention, always. Then I just go ahead and clean up all of their food mess. So I put the extra food away in the fridge and I sanitize the counter just because I do feed raw food. I wanna make sure everything's all nice and sanitized so there's no germs on the counter. So that's what I am doing here. Then it is time to feed the bunnies. So I go and grab their veggie plate and the water dish and then I take it back into the kitchen. I also let Lulu out at this time. She plays in the morning and at night, so she just kind of hops around. She doesn't really play much, but she kind of explores and smells things and eats things. That's kind of how she plays at her age. So then I go ahead and rinse the water dishes and the veggie plate. I did not realize the camera was out of focus. You will see throughout this video. I did a horrible filming job, so please ignore that. But then I go ahead and refill the water dishes. And then you can kind of see Lulu hopping around in the background and Shadow is watching me do things. <laughs> And then I go ahead and feed the bunnies their veggies. So I'm just making their salad right now. And I just rip it apart so that it's easier to mix up and separate. And then for Sterling and Ebony, I scatter feed them. So I kind of just like throw it into their room. And then for Lulu, she eats off of the veggie plates. And then after I feed her, I go ahead and I put the baby gate in front of her door as well as this fence so that the other bunnies don't like smell her or fight under the door. And then I let Sterling and Ebony out for the day. Then I go ahead and give Ebony her medication for her liver. And then the bunnies just enjoy this time to play with their toys. I try to keep their special fun toys out in their playtime area so it makes it more fun and exciting. If you guys are looking for some really fun, cool willow toys or other fun toys that your bunnies might like, you can check out my shop at 101rabbits.com. I'll have it linked in the iCard. And then during the day, I do have to give Milo some more food because he doesn't finish it all in the morning. And then on most weekdays, I have doctor's appointments, so I have to go ahead and close Sterling and Ebony's door so that they aren't out in the playtime area. I do this just for safety reasons, as I have cats and I don't want anything to happen. And then when I come home, I check on the bunnies and I re-let out Sterling and Ebony so they can come play again. And now it's time for nighttime again. So I feed the cats kind of the same thing as in the morning. I just go ahead and spoon out all of their food.
Then I have to go ahead and clean up again as well as fill up Milo's automatic feeder. So he has like a refrigerated automatic feeder so that he can have food early in the morning before I wake up. I just have to do this because otherwise he gets way too hungry in the morning. So that's what I am doing here. I'm just filling that up. And then I'm sanitizing the counter once again. Then it is time to feed the bunnies for nighttime, so I just grab their water and veggie plates again. And then I go ahead and rinse everything out. And then I refill the water dishes and give the bunnies their water. It's basically the same thing I do in the morning, not anything much different. And then I go ahead and make the bunnies their salad. And then Ebony also gets medication at night as well. And then I go ahead and just make sure their hay is all filled up. Again, horrible filming job. And then here is Milo just playing on his wheel because he is insane and in love with his wheel. If you guys want to see more about Milo, I have an Instagram account for him called milos.raw.adventure. I'll have it linked down in the description below, but he is obsessed with this cat wheel and literally has been running on it nonstop. <laughs> Then it is time to set up Lulu's laser or red light therapy and it takes 15 minutes so I tend to watch a YouTube video while I do it just so that I'm not just sitting there staring into the abyss but she doesn't really enjoy it but she does pretty well with it so and this particular day she did have um, some hair in her eye and she can't groom it herself so I did have to rinse it with saline and then I go ahead and clean the hermit crabs water dish so I only do this about once a week, but it happened to fall on the day I was filming this video. I totally did not plan this at all, but my hermit crabs have been molting for about two months, so I haven't seen any of them for two months, and suddenly two of them came up today. So I had a lot of hermit crab stuff I had to do. So I do rinse the water dishes under water, but then I dry them off very well with paper towel because hermit crabs cannot have tap water. Um, and then here I am just setting up their water bubblers and feeding them. I just use some of this dry food from Claw of the Wild on Etsy. I really love her shop. And then here I'm just kind of reorganizing some things because the tank has kind of been a little bit messy because they've just been underground for a while. So I'm just trying to like spice it up a little bit, but I am planning on totally redoing their tank, hopefully in the next couple of months because I did get this new topper and I wanna add like shelves and climbing things and stuff. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. And then I decided to go ahead and boil their shells because they were quite dirty. And I hadn't done it in a while because again, they were underground. So here I am just putting the shells into a pot of water and then I am going ahead and boiling it. You're supposed to boil it for about 10 minutes. Um, I don't really time it, I just kind of estimate. But here I am just uh, using hot water to clean their shell shop. And then it is time to scoop the cat litter boxes. So I use this really weird hoodie to scoop the cat boxes because the litter I'm currently using is quite dusty and I don't really like it getting in my hair and stuff. Um, as you can see in the background, I'm planning on switching to new litter that I bought on Black Friday, but I haven't had the chance to switch them over yet. So some cats can be a little bit picky when switching litter. So for now, I'm just using this clay litter, but I'm hoping to switch to either the world's best cat litter or grass seed litter, just whatever they prefer. And so here I'm just adding a little bit more litter to the litter boxes. 
Then the hermit crab shells have been boiling for a while, so I go ahead and take that off and put them on a little mat to dry. And then here I'm going ahead and giving Milo his gum medication and brushing his teeth. So Milo has a little bit of gum disease. It's really normal for domesticated cats just because of how inbred they are, but um, it's really important to brush their teeth so that you can prevent stuff like that. Um, I'm also giving Shadow some gum medication, but it was really bad, so I cut most of it out. And then here I am filling the cat water dish. I'm just like rinsing it out. Again, I don't do this on a daily basis, but it happened to fall on this day that it was out of water. And every time it runs out of water, I just go ahead and scrub it and clean it up. And I'm also cleaning the floor because Milo like shakes his head after he drinks and sprays water everywhere. So it was like really, really disgusting. So I was just kind of cleaning the floor up <laughs> before I put the waterer back. And then I'm going ahead and I actually dipped all of the shells into salt water after I boiled them. This just helps entice the crabs to want to switch shells. And then I went ahead and dried them out a little bit and put them back into the tank. And that's basically it. That's kind of my daily pet care routine. Again, some of this stuff I don't do daily. And then there's other things I didn't show that I didn't have to do on this day. But I thought this would just be an interesting video as I don't normally show my other pets or how I take care of them.